I am Donner. Donner, thank you for coming. You are Max. Yes, I'm Max. I... What is it that you wish to speak about? Um, all right. Um, I guess I have many questions, but um, I would like to learn a little bit about, about yourself, about your personality, what's, what makes you proud, what's, what's your history. We have a vast and long history throughout this galaxy and the next. We have been here for thousands of years, but now we are awakened again by the ascension. We had started to awaken in the year ending of the year 2012, but we're not fully awakened till last year. The reason for this is that we are here to feed the ascension vibration and the vibration of the fire of the ascension. Our history dates back millions of years, but we do not remember all those times. They were not recorded, but everything within the past 200,000 years has. We are a proud and royal family that is here on your planet. Originally from <coughs> beyond Andromeda area, mm -hmm. we are royals of many kinds. Mm -hmm. My wife and son are with me and have awakened as well. Our population is about a thousand under your planet's surface. Actually, 986. Is it all the dragons or just a species or a particular tribe? Just our white dragon species. Got it. There are other dragon species here on your planet, but we are not associated directly with them. Uh -huh. We have come from a place where there is a great society of dragons. Mm -hmm. One moment. Forgive me, he needed mm -hmm. to drink. Mm -hmm. There are many trees and much wilderness in this planet, and we build our home in caves and in the sides of mountains. This is what we prefer. We do not have cities like you do, but we hollow out the mountains and live in there. That would be the kind of city that would be our kind. So we, have, we live in a very mountainous planet. There is water, there is sun, but it is not as bright as this planet and it is not as warm. But yet, it is where we call home, and it is a place of refuge. There are many kind souls there. In the dragon, white dragon community, I should make that specification. Mm -hmm. I do not often think to make that specification because that is just my home, and that is just where I am from. But we are the white dragon, and we have been evolving for hundreds and hundreds, 
thousands and thousands of years and have come to a place of understanding with positivity and found it to be the greater of the ways to survive and to move through the universe. I do not know what kind of socio information you are looking for. Uh, one of the questions is, uh, I know the Draco constellation um, and uh, the star, uh, I think it's called Betelgeuse is related to Dracos, right? Betelgeuse. Yes. Are you related to those planets, the stars? No, but there are some on your planet that are. Those under the Himalayas are related to this area. Uh huh. Uh, could you tell me about your individual personal um, history? I am a king. Uh huh. I come from a royal family. My peoples from beyond. Andromeda area are loyal to me still, even from this distance. My eldest son is ruling in my stead. Oh. But they know that I am alive and they know where I am. My family uh -huh. mm -hmm. is one of great understanding and compassion to my people, and I have passed that on to my children. We live in a society where there is a lot of peace at this time. Of course, there are those that would cause problems, but that is the same with every society in the universe. But we are one of peace and understanding there are no wars. There are no need for a fiduciary system. All things are, transpire in a more natural, organic way. Right. So are you traveling back and forth between your planet and, and the Earth? We have not been off of Earth for the last 2,200 years, but we plan to go back to our planet, but we've been here quite a while. How easy is to travel? Very easy for us at this point to travel through space because we use interdimensional travel. So if needed, you can bring lots more uh, white dragons. If necessary, but we do not see that as an option at this time. Uh -huh. uh, what other species are you um, uh, working with? Like, is there like other species among your tribe? Yes, there are other species that we have befriended. Mm -hmm. That would be some reptilians and some tree people. We have also befriended the Aliai. We have befriended the Vendendi and other species in those areas of space. We are now acquainted with Pleiadians, Lyrans, and mantis people. There are other species that we wish to contact and become friendly with, but we have not done so yet. I'm trying to look at your um, living quarters and I imagine there are some smaller beings, possibly d dwarfs or some other beings living with you and kind of um, serving you in some way and exchanging with you in some way? The elementals, is that uh -huh. who you mean? 
the elementals to help us with removing waste and finding ways to continue with food sources. Mm -hmm. We are in debt to them in a very big way. And which of the elementals are those? Water, sprites, tree nymphs, and trolls, also fairies and dwarfs. Are you in the same um, uh, vibrational frequency and um, dimensional frequency with them? Not exactly. We all have our own frequencies. However, they are within our phase. We can see them, although we cannot see them in our same reality, if that ah. can make sense to you. Ah. Can they see you in, in fullness? We see each other similarly, which is out of phase, but yet we can know that they are there. Uh, is there a species in your phase which uh, co-inhabits your quarters and your living space? No. Oh, I see. Only, uh, only the pets that we bring from our world. What, what kind of pets do you have? Ones that may resemble alligators mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or crocodiles on your planet are very friendly species to us and to <laughs> our children. So how distant uh, are you from us uh, in, uh, in the phase of the vibration? How, you know, are you invisible to us at this point yes your fourth dimensional energy is not developed strongly enough to be able to see us straight away you may be able to detect our energy signatures but you will not be able to see us there may be a handful of people on your planet that will be able to see us but at this point I do not see very many. Uh, are you connected to Teraha? Teraha is the fourth dimensional Earth. We can see that it is on the surface of your planet. Mm -hmm. at time. It is within the third dimensional, it is outside the third dimensional realm and so we are able to see it, yes. So what dimension is yours? We are fourth dimension, but higher fourth dimension, so that we are able to see your Terra Ha, but also glimpses of the fifth dimension or a dimension higher than Terra Ha. And how do you see us? We do not see you as much as we feel you. Mm -hmm. But we also can move backwards in understanding and with technology can see you if we mm -hmm. wish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how do we look to you? Small. Mm -hmm. You look rather air, un aerodynamic. Right. You look lumpy. Uh huh. Like small, would you, small, lumpy creatures. Mm -hmm. But what is interesting is that when you are wearing your clothing, you are all different colors. Mm hmm. So we see you as a multicolored species. Why is so many of us, like six or eight billion is just a crazy number. Why is it so diverse, diversified? It is the way it is because of how you were seeded. Uh -huh. Many different kinds of species are on your planet, which are not like any other planets in the universe.
Mm -hmm. you have more varieties than any other planet. Um, there is a rumor or a legend that Mary Magdalene was a dragon and that uh, Jesus and Magdalene had a romance between uh, something, uh, I don't know what it is on the side of Jesus, but the uh, uh, dragons on the side of Magdalene and they created bloodlines uh, where they hybridized. Is there any truth to that? I cannot speak of that because I do not know of it. Oh, I see. It was not our species of dragon if there was a dragon involved. But I will look into that. We oh, have been you. asleep for a thousand, for 2200 years. Uh -huh. So it is just now that we are starting to relearn about what has happened in your society since then. But we knew that we would be waking up in this period of time. I'll pause for a second for a personal question. Button. Uh huh. Um, thank you. Um, we have about five minutes left. Um, I wonder which way should we go? I guess um, more practical ways. So, practically, how do you see the role of positive role of dragons in human ascension? We are the ones that hold some of your light and some of your positive vibrations for you. Uh -huh. We know there are many dark influences awake on this planet. So therefore, we send our energies to the positive side of your existence, to the positive people and missions that must be carried out. And therefore, we are holders of great energy within your realm. What kind of energy is that? We would call it holy fire energy. Ah. How do we connect to it? Naturally. We are a God-fearing people, a spiritual realm of people. And so when we <clears throat> awaken, we are already in contact with the spirit that is our life force. Um, there was a, um, I guess, an analogy saying that a whale is uh, an oversoul for dolphins. Basically, something big is uh, an oversoul a collection of something smaller. I wonder if you are big, maybe there is something smaller which comprises you. That is not necessarily true. You can have a mountain that is a solid piece of rock. It is not necessarily an oversoul of anything. Larger items or larger species are not necessarily an oversoul for smaller species. But mm -hmm. we have our own ideas about what we believe and what we feel is the oversoul and God himself. Uh, when the angels come to us, um, they look like humans with, with their wings. How would the angels come to you? They would look like our species in some ways. Uh -huh. They do not look exactly like us ex because they do not come to you looking exactly human. They mm -hmm. have the extra wings and different facial features. They come to us in a similar way. They look like draconians but yet some of their features are not right and some of their wingspans are not the same uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, for the for the closing uh would you like to give us some um poetry blessing or any any other sort of closing statement 
I will give you a blessing. Thank you. In our language, so that Thank you may you. understand. Waha shawi nika and via more waha matatura rasure nyayawa yakwati muakatia mea rahwa kas miyak nyua. Rofia Fienzas Fiat Wendwindia Rahayashan Jan Zuzias. There you have it. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, is there a translation? May God bring you great understanding and lift you up to become the ascended ones that he intends you to be. And may the light on your face be an example of light to other beings who live in the darkness, so that they will find your example appealing and want to follow after in the same light. Thank you. <clears throat> I will go for now. Oh, well, thank you very much for coming. Be aware of us. We are with you. Thank you. Hello. Hey, Jim. Welcome back. Hey. Time is 11.00. Oh, good. All right. I will uh, talk to you again soon. And um, I have a few more sessions today. So, so um, what's... Um